Hey everybody, this is Andy from Prothema.com and today I'm going to show you how you can use the content slider layout option for the Morph News module. Now the Morph News module outputs your articles in a variety of different ways. The layouts are kind of like sub-functionalities uh, that you can you know, configure further uh, when you output your articles. So content slider is, as the name suggests, it allows a user to scroll or slide through the different items. You can see this demo that I've set up I've added a number of different sliders. The important thing to take into account is, you know, for example, this one over here and this one over here, we're scrolling one item at a time. So there's perhaps, say, 10 each uh, with articles assigned, and this one has maybe 10 as well, but we're showing four items at a time over here. As the user scrolls through, this is only changing one item, but you can change it as well so that it'll scroll through, say, uh, four items at once so that this one lands you know, at the beginning in the next slide or pane. And here's a couple more versions of the scroller slider module as well. <clears throat> and then we have two side by side like this. Notice the placement of the buttons can be quite different. Here at the bottom, they're at the bottom, one on either side. Here there's both at the top on the right. Here there's vertically centered on either side as well. Also take note how, you know, th the different displays can be set. So here we've got a title, meta information, intro text, and then read more. And there's quite a lot of space in between these items. Whereas over here we have just the thumbnail, the published information, and an overlay over the image, but absolutely zero space in between them. Now, the reason I'm showing you the sort of the detailed differences is because these are all changed from within the module. We'll take a look at the settings now. But there's absolutely no code or CSS or anything that you need to go and change to be able to make these adjustments. So here the required settings is, you know, you can have multiple instances of this module, but the required settings is the, the part that you'll come to first to immediately, it's essentially setting up how you want the scroller to behave, etc. So every slider you create must have a unique ID. The unique ID is very important so that things don't conflict with the different sliders or scrollers you've got on the page. Then the, the dimensions are quite important, you know, if you get these right, everything else will work 100% perfect. It's pretty straightforward. For example, these settings are the settings for this module that you see over here. Right. So we've got it set at a height of 340 and a width of 974, which is the, the width of my morph uh, theme net. And I'm showing one item at a time over here. I can change this to show two. In fact, let's leave it at two and let's make the width 540 because what we're going to do is we're going to move this information below the image and then we're going to make it so that we have two side by side instead <clears throat> and then let's change the space, actually let's leave the spacing for now at 23, that's, that's fine and as long as I've got all of these set that's really all I need one thing we can do here is change this to on which is what we call the front end suggest tip so if you come back to the front end and reload let's just save this quickly It'll actually suggest to us what the new image width should be, and then we can apply that as well. So let's come back here, refresh the page, and we should now have two items side by side. We'll see the image, but the image is too big. We need to change the size, and then it'll look a lot better as well. So we have two, the images are overlaying because of their size, but it says here, let's make the width 431. So we can come back here to the configure article elements, <clears throat> and change our width to 431. Now if we save that, come back, refresh, you'll see that the image size is actually perfect now. Now you see that information gets hidden because it's to the right of the image. If we made the image smaller, we could have, say, a vertical image like this, um, and then the information to the right here and have that twice. But what we're trying to achieve here is move that information below so just, I wanted to show you a little bit about the layout builder in this video because it will help you sort of get an overall view of how the module works as well. So let's move that to the bottom, save that, come back. Now when we refresh, the information should display underneath each one of these. And there we have it. So what happens if we change the spacing quickly? Change the spacing to say 53, come back and refresh. 
Notice how it again tells you what the image size should be. Then you can adjust that again so that it's optimal. You know, we could we could have set that to be automatic. The problem is that sometimes you know you don't um, want the image to take up the full width. You want to have this information still to the right. So it, we rather suggest the width to you. So if I change that width of the image to 371 now, then it'll work perfectly. So. Last thing I want to do is quickly show you the optional settings. These are the things that you can do to configure uh, the effect and speed, duration of different things as well. So let's quickly go over these. Set the easing effect. That's what happens uh, when the user clicks next or previous, the effect that actually happens on the, on the change. You can loop the item so that it always starts again um, when you're on the last slide. And clicking next will navigate to the first slide. You can also turn on the mouse wheel navigation. That'll allow when the user uses his scroll on his mouse to scroll through the items. The speed that the transition happens at. And then the differences between the buttons are set over here. You can also just click this uh, help tip and it'll explain exactly how that works. But essentially you set the, the vertical alignment to top, center or bottom and then you can add additional offsets to perfectly position the buttons how you want. And then choose one of the different styles. Let's choose tiny over here and you'll see the change as well. Um, and we could just, for emphasis, set that to the top. You can slide multiple items at once. If we're showing two at a time, then it's probably a good idea to slide to the, I think it's the third one. Let's check that. And then the item navigator are the circles that we want to show. We can turn off the image tips now. Let's change this back to 23. There we go. <clears throat> now let's refresh and we see our changes. There we go. So now we have the circle navigation at the bottom and we have the small arrows at the top. So that's pretty much it. It should give you a good idea of how the module works and how you can configure everything. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in our forum and I hope you enjoy using the module. Take care. Cheers.